I found some of the most cursed builds on the gallery. Do you want to look at them? Okay, if you go over to the gallery, click on hashtag and type in FGG curse, you get a whole bunch of cursed builds and they're not going to traumatize you at all, which is why I'm going to go through them today. The first build we're going to be looking at is Gladius Theater by MF1530. This theater has just been built as a modern escape for the riches of the rich. Come and see the splattering cool plays. Just make sure you have enough money because these plays have limited edition actors and some lovely effects. Okay, no, first of all, there are a couple red flags that I have noticed. First of all, that this is a venue for the rich. Now, I don't know about you, but I the rich tend to have kind of interesting morals, kind of a little bit skewed. So about, I, let me forget about that. The second one is limited edition actors. What do you mean limited? Like they're here for a limited amount of time only? I mean, I know humans are here for a limited amount of time only, but this, it, um, they're gonna die, aren't they? Oh, but it looks so beautiful. Oh, I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. We have arrived at the Gladius Theater. Theater. This is absolutely beautiful. Like, okay, I know that it's made for the rich and the rich have the money to spend on like needless landscaping like this, but oh my God. Oh, but I don't even want to think about the roofing situation right now. Like looking at that, it's stressing me out. It's both tranquil and painful at the same time. Oh my God. It's tranquil, tranquil, tranquil. Um, it's tranquil and painful at the same time, much like the 1%. I can already see mailbox already got uh, his waiting at the reception. I don't know what to expect. I just know it's a theater. I know that, uh, tickets are here for a limited time only oh not the tickets sorry the actors i'm sure it'll be fine everything's going to be fine we're gonna walk in now hey there mailbox i didn't know you could afford to come to a place like this or maybe you can't and that's why you're just waiting there anyway i can so i'm just gonna mosey on through here this is beautiful it's a very interesting layout like i bet decorating this was a pain in the ass and honestly i'm glad you did it and not me i mean this is beautiful you got you you're looking wait uh um hello hello um okay no this this is the, the vibes here are significantly more uh, nicer, more nicer than the vibes down there. I the the the, the contrast. I kind of like it. Listen, gladiator fights were legal once upon a time, so why can't they just be legal again? You know what I mean? Oh, uh, we got. Oh, oh, you can go down there. Okay, uh, no, no, no. I'll come back for this. I see the store. I'm a, I'm gonna come back for you. I want to see what's down there for real. But this is this is pretty nice. It's some pretty good views, actually. Not so bad. I bet like these seats over here, right there, are, like way more expensive than the couches. Not gonna lie. What's in here? Ooh, some really fancy bathrooms and people outside can watch to take a poo if you needed to, but it's fine. Not like the rich care about their privacy anyway. All right, all right. Can you tell I'm still sick? Anyway, I'm gonna go downstairs now. I don't really care about what's up here. I wanna know what the gladiator fights are like downstairs. So uh, we're gonna mosey our way on down now. All right, okay, all right. So it's a lot darker, a lot less nice down here. I can already see what the living conditions are like. Oh, okay. Oh, why is there a baby? Why is there a baby? Why is there a baby in this establishment why is there a way why is there like a birthing station right in the gladiator pits i i i like i understand this stuff right like this is to make sure that all your fighters are in tip-top shape if they break a bone like they did over there you know you could fix it but this this requires a little bit more of an explanation that i know i'm not gonna get so i'm gonna <laughs> bid you adieu and leave no we're gonna go through here now so the living conditions of this place is not uh the best but also it's exactly what i expected i am no longer shocked by these conditions. If you are new here, I'm sure you're like, oh my god, this is horrific. We've seen worse. We've actually seen worse. Like, this is actually pretty nice. Okay, they have games. Most of the places we look at don't even have that. We got some guards, you know, to make sure nobody escapes. I, I assume these are gonna be the bathrooms. Oh, oh, there's more. There's more. Do I want there to be more? Oh, showers! These are some pretty good living conditions. I'm not gonna lie. Based on what I'm used to, oh, oh yeah, no, this is my office. Do you like how I've immediately staked a claim here and have decided that this is my business venture? This is my office. Uh, you're not allowed in here. What door did I actually go in? Did I go in this one yet? What's, the, what's this one? Oh, canteen. This is pretty. Look, they get fed. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay, we're gonna go back now. I wanna go to the actual fighting pits now. I wanna know what it's like to be in the heat of the moment where all the rich people are looking at me. All right, here we are. I don't know what any of that is. I don't really wanna know. We've got some swords. We've got some blood and scratches on the wall. It, it, it's definitely been a time. They've had, they've had a time here. 
And we go through here. Oh, oh, it looks like there's like a pit beast or something. That the oh, they're not fighting each other. They're fighting whatever the fuck is in here. But whatever the fuck is in here is not in here anymore. So where is it? And why are they? Oh, that's why they need the babies. They're feeding it babies. Okay. Honestly, this build pretty cursed. <laughs> Next build we're gonna be looking at is Spirit of Bloodstain Pub by Raccoon Simmer 17. Ye old bloodstain has walls that are alive. They heave and creak and cry with the restless souls of the victims of the original owner. In failed attempts to contact the Grim Reaper, she sacrificed many and perhaps lost herself too. Her ghost is restless haunting the pub, violently protecting the door to her incriminating secret, craving to wield a knife again. Besides that, it's a delightful English pub with a quaint beer garden. <laughs> you know what? I drink there. Am I stupid for saying that? Absolutely. Am I stupid for going in? Absolutely. Are you gonna sit here and watch me do it for views? Absolutely. Listen, shouldn't we all be grateful that this is all in The Sims and not in real life because I would still go in. I said I was stupid. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> the bloodstained pub where totally nothing bad has ever happened here. In fact, it just looks like a regular pub and that's exactly why I'm going in. It's actually really beautiful. Like, look at this. I love the architecture of like English buildings, like these Tudor style buildings. I think that's what they're called. I could be wrong and I'm not gonna correct myself and you're probably gonna correct me in the comments or confirm that I'm correct and I'm probably gonna ignore it because I'll forget what I said. This is beautiful. Look, look, it's the beer garden. Nothing bad ever happens in a place where there's a beer garden. Giving me Veronaville vibes, honestly. And this, not suspicious. In fact, absolutely beautiful. We're gonna go in now. Despite uh, the many warnings of maybe don't go in, but I'm not gonna fucking listen. Here we are. Oh, this is beautiful. Nothing bad could ever happen at a place like this. Look at the <gasps> custom-made piano. That is so fucking clever. What the fuck? What the I'm, I'm like in shock. Th this is the prime event. This is number one. I've <laughs> that is so cool. I don't know if it's usable, but honestly, I don't really care. This is a beautiful pub. It is very colorful. I bet there are many a pub songs to be sang here in absolute joy and joviality and you know what i like it here so much that i'm gonna ignore the blood stains coming out from under the bookshelf and the, the door that's right behind the bookshelf i'm going to ignore it yeah i'm gonna go into the bathroom instead and i don't need to shit myself i just want to take a look see and you know what this is a very nice bathroom i like the chair i don't know why it's there i guess you and your buddies are waiting their turn but oh these this is a long boy this is a long bathroom okay you know what? i'm not gonna judge i'm not gonna judge i'm gonna go upstairs instead and and ignore that because that's not there i don't even know what you're talking about <laughs> is this like an inn as well or do people like live up here okay all right it's glitching out what's in here oh oh no people live here oh no oh no that's not good oh no i would uh, uh no i wouldn't live here i'm sorry it's, it's nothing to do with the haunted vibes because this place is definitely not haunted but i just wouldn't live above a pub it would be so noisy i mean it's got a nice kitchen i suppose it's not so bad what's in here we got a nice living room as well hey, hey kids they're kids here. It's gonna be fine. Everything is fine. Everything is normal. In fact, Pride Month. Anyway, I'm gonna go back downstairs and uh, not regret any of my decisions. It'll be fine. It'll be- I'm gonna go through here and there's gonna be nothing suspicious of the sort. In fact, look how quaint this is. Get out. Oh. Oh, <laughs> well, if you say so. Alright, fine. Fine. I'm gonna go up. You know, you said nothing about going up, right? Oh my god, that actually did kind of freak me out. Leave! Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, if you say so, so I'm gonna cut. Do I? I really want to go upstairs. Uh, uh. Oh, this ain't so bad. This ain't so. Oh, hi, hi, hi. How's it going, lady? Uh, this ain't so bad at all. You know what? I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna do what you said. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave, but I am gonna go down a floor. You know, instead of uh, you know, um, stop. Why? Why would I stop? Oh, 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 there's a dead body down here. Okay. I mean, I assume there's a body in there. The coffin could be empty. I'm gonna go in any... No, I hate this. No, I hate... There's a secret door. And there's something sticking out there. No, I actually... No, this is actually freaking me out. I don't know where I wanna... I go through these last. So I go in here. Hello? Oh. She will kill you. Oh, don't threaten me with a good time now. This ain't so bad. I don't like the bugs, actually. I still wait. This ain't so bad. This ain't so spooky. Oh, somebody barricaded barricaded themselves in here. They barricaded themselves in here. Okay. I wonder why, but it doesn't matter because we're going to go through the secret door now. Oh, hi, hi. There's more. You want me to go down more? Okay. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Somebody's been busy. What does this say? We are trapped? Oh no. Why? Why are you trapped? Like there's stairs right here. You just go upstairs. Do you want me to? I can guide you out. Is that what you want? All right. We'll keep going. I don't want to. Hello. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh. You are scary. I don't like you. Okay. All right. There's a lot of dead. This is a pub. This is where people drink. What does this say? Run, run. Where? She... No... 
knows run. She knows how to run? Oh, that's threatening. That's not good. I hate, um, hey, I, why, uh, uh so I, I, I think I'll bring the kids here. I'm not gonna lie. Next one we're gonna be looking at is the Pepper Saloon and Inn by AC Piggy. Ah, the Pepper Saloon and Inn, the finest establishment in Pepper Canyon. They serve drinks that aren't 85% saliva and their beds are relatively urine free. All the Wild West denizens in the area come flocking here for a good old time. The saloon is totally legit and totally isn't built on a portal to another dimension that requires some sacrifices to remain stable. Well, that's good. Honestly, that is the first thing I wanna hear before going into an establishment. I mean, we already just went into a very questionable pub. So I'm starting to think maybe I should be taking my drink somewhere else. Here we are at the pe salt and pepper something. Pepper in something. I, I forgot the name of it already, but honestly, does it matter? Because it looks amazing. I love this. I know I've kind of placed this in the, the wrong world. That's kind of expected at this point. I love the way this looks. I'm not like the biggest fan of westerns. I feel like the only western thing I quite like is uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. And this kind of looks like it fits in there. Like some like armadillo vibes, even though I know armadillo's from the first one and I don't want to hear a damn thing about it. I'm gonna go in now. This, oh my god. Oh my gosh darn, I love it here. I love it here. This is the best place. This is the only place I want to be. I would like to only have my drinks here. Oh my god, the bartender is a fancy mailbox. This is a copper mailbox. This is a nice, oh my god, I love him. I love this mail. This is my new favorite mailbox, but only in this setting we've got some drinks. The details in this place are amazing. I'm gonna go upstairs. I want to see what the rooms are like. You know, I just had a very long time on the road with my, my horsey and uh, I'm tired. I want to take off my boots and I want to take a nap. Oh, 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 I get to pick what room I get to go in. I'm going to go in all of them, obviously, but I don't know. The, oh, there's a secret door. Okay, why did I pick the one fucking room with a secret door? I'm going to, I'm going to come back to you. I will remember your geolocation so that I may enter. Oh, 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 there's more. Okay. All right. I have a feeling that no matter where I go, there's going to be a secret door. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, fine. No, yes, no, yes. I go in, I go in. What's in here now? Oh, all right, all right. Oh, it leads down. That's a very interesting floor planning, my friend. But sure, I'll bite. I'll come down here. Where does this lead? Does this lead to the, where the fuck am I? Hold on, hold on. I'll come back to you. This is a very weird system. Oh, oh, so you're hiding something, buckaroonie. All right, all right. I see, I see what's going on. I'll bite, I'll be naive, and I'll go down this ladder. Oh, it already looks pretty bad down there. Do I want to turn around? No. Am I going to? Yep. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Hello. Hi. You guys okay? You guys all right? <laughs> you look like you're having a great time. Looks like yeah, the party's really on fire in there. <laughs> <laughs> don't get don't get too hot now guys you know because you're it's dance floor and it gets tends to get like sweaty and stuff i don't want to go through there there's blood through that all right well i'll bite oh i mean this ain't the worst you know i have seen worse we have and not just me we i could see the portal to hell through there it's a nice view i like that you guys added windows and stuff but the fact that this door is so heavily barricaded there's so many so many deterrents from going in makes me want to go in so that's what we're gonna do oh it's just a box there ain't nothing weird about this oh wait no it's an elevator okay okay i'll go down ding i'm down here now and i don't like it what's this what is the what is this now why are there so many rooms hello <laughs> Okay, that scared me. Hi! Excuse me, your your wings, honey. They're beautiful, but I gotta I gotta oh oh my oh my oh my oh my <laughs> why? Why why why? Oh, okay, we're just going through this little maze here. Whoa. No, this is actually kind of cool. What's this? Oh, it's bad? Oh, this is oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Okay, so the planes of existence are kind of breaking apart right now, but that's okay. At least it looks nice. <laughs> I wonder what's behind door number three. This one is okay. She's He's got arms more than usual, but you know, it happens. Hello? Hello? Oh, uh, all right. I don't, you guys have a great time. I do not want to disturb you guys at all. I'm just going to edge in here. There's nothing. Okay. That leads to nothingness. I guess I'll, I'll uh, move. Uh, am I allowed in? I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, that leads to nothingness as well. Okay. So the planes of existence, sorry, are really, uh, really splitting right now. They're not having a good old time. Guess we got this room now. What's in here? Hello? Whoa. Okay, buddy. This is the uh this is the ground zero, so to speak. This is where it all began. Wow. Wowie. No, actually, I like this. This is not I I chill here. Honestly, it's a little bit warm, but I could take it. And I assume these all lead to oh, oh my fucking god. What the fuck 
fuck is happening here? I feel like at every turn, it just gets worse and worse. Like, what's, th what's through these doors? What's through here? Oh, okay. This one ain't so bad, actually. I kind of vibe with this room. Oh, no, it's leading into more weirdness. I don't like this anymore. It makes me uncomfortable, even though there's nothing in these rooms. Okay, and then we're just circling around now. I see. Okay, well, um, this ain't so bad. I believe it's safe to say that I, I have seen worse. Last one we're gonna be looking at is the Westgate Insane Asylum by Nicole Fox 85. Welcome to the abandoned Westgate Insane Asylum, former home to the criminally insane. In recent years, it has been plagued by squatters and would-be occultists, or are they? What has been unearthed in the former solarium could lead to some evil undoings, or the apocalypse itself. There's also been some grave tampering in the asylum graveyard. Okay, so from what I'm gathering right now, there's a lot of bad stuff going on in here, and if somebody who who's irresponsible were to walk in on such things, it could lead to the apocalypse? Okay, no, I'll go inside. I'm responsible enough for this. You guys give me too much trust. Here we are at the lovely Westgate Insane Asylum. I know we're going in during daytime, but I need you guys to understand that I'm literally a pussy and I won't go into these establishments at night. Are you kidding me? It's like a fucking hazard. Look at all the stuff I could trip over. Anyway, aside from thematic disappointment, we are going to go in now and we are going to be very goddamn careful this is already like beautifully done. Can I say like the details already are here? There's so much clutter. It's gross. It's disgusting. And I'm so excited to go in. Uh, I am going to check around, you know, the perimeter. I heard there's some uh, some sort of grave digging going on that ain't uh, sanctioned. I don't even know why this place has graves in the first place. It's a little bit weird. Oh, no, I see it. Okay, no, this is where the graves have been dug and there are ghosties already, but it's fine. And the summoning circle with the machete and like the spell tome. Honestly, not suspicious at all. I, I don't see the problem. We're going to go inside now. We're gonna go in through the front door, which is locked a couple times over actually, but uh, <laughs> I don't actually care. Here we are. Oh, oh no, this is kind of spooky and I love it. I actually, no, this is really well done. Oh, and now that the werewolf pack is out, I bet like these spooky builds can look even spookier. Okay, so we're gonna go through here despite the fact that it's locked. Oh, oh no, that painting's crooked. Oh no, the feng shui in this place is fucking off and I hate it. Oh no, don't do this to me. Okay, so this place is, uh, is a little bit of a mess. We already have, oh, oh, hi. Hi, hello, what is, what's with that? What's, uh, oh, so the demons are coming out from hell. Okay, I was a little bit confused about that. And this little altar that somebody has definitely been sacrificed in already with the summoning circle and the baby right next to the blowtorch. Okay, right, and the bottle of alcohol. All right, so somebody's had a little bit of a party. Okay, I, I like, do I even need to continue? I'm going to. All right, so we've got this little art room. Oh, we could do art in here. Oh, this place is so quaint and quiet and lovely. No, honestly, this place is lovely. I I'm gonna go through here now, see if we can find anything that's a little bit um cleaner. I can't seem to find anywhere that's a little more tidy, you know, in a place that I, in a, in a manner in which I could deem acceptable. There's a fucking spider on the wall. Good fucking bye. No, thank you. What's over here? Oh, it's an office. This place is actually quite nice. It's like a library. Oh, oh no, this is my office. I've decided I'm moving in here now. And because it's like relatively cleaner, it like compared to the rest of the asylum. So you know what? I, I can dig this, you know, put a couple candles in here. It could be a vibe. All right, we've got this little door here. It's got a lot of scratch marks. So I'm sure it's a very, it's a, it's a bathroom. Okay, somebody pro, oh, somebody really needed to get out. And it seems like somebody really needed to get in. I'm really fascinated by the lore here. I hope that we can revisit that in the future. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs now. Oh, 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 this place is a fucking mess. Okay, I don't know why I'm surprised by that. So this is like what used to be a rec room and this used to be a canteen. I think somebody had like a little bit of a food fight going on. So you know this, that this place had some fun activities, you know, some real com camaraderie. Okay, so just a bathroom. So far, so good. Aside from the demon downstairs, I don't really see the problem with this establishment. A little bit messy, a little bit. I'll give you guys that, you know, somebody needs a, you maybe need to hire a cleaner or something. And you know, so that oven is being cleaned currently. So, you know, that's pretty good. But I'm more concerned with those rooms. Those rooms look like some horrific bullshit went on down there. Um, So I'm gonna ignore those rooms and I'm gonna go in here first. Okay, so we did find a coffin. All right, that is a little bit sus, a little bit uh, <laughs> against health and safety, I will say rotting bodies should not be kept amongst the living, but I guess nobody's alive anymore, so it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go down here and then we'll go in these little uh, horrific rooms here. Okay, campfire indoors. This is definitely where the squatters are, or were. I don't <laughs> I don't know what happened to them. They're probably fucking dead. Okay, so these are the asylum rooms. They're padded. Looks like, it looks like uh, they did not want to be here. Hey, <laughs> it looks like I don't want to be here anymore, actually. Okay, so this bed has been 
been knocked over. Okay, somebody's probably using it as like a shield or something like that. I don't know from what. <laughs> well, what would you need to hide from in this place? And then this one. Okay. No, it's it's kind of welcoming. You got a bucket of water to drink from. So, you know, they were looked after. Honestly, it is a, you know, I'll admit it's a little bit spooky, but, uh, you know, it, it, you could refurbish this. Unfortunately, those are all the cursed builds that I could look at today, but please check out this hashtag so you can uh, go through it and traumatize yourself. If you want to know what the next build competition is going to be, join my Discord down below or wait until my next speed build video where I announce it. Okay, goodbye.